तो जस्ट अनपुरु से बोल देना चेक कर लेगा So I think we are online. Can you just check? Are we online? No, no, not yet. I think we are live. It says YouTube live. Just check on uh, the my channel if you are online. Mm hmm. I'm checking there only. So I think we are online. Ha, huh, we are live. But it's a new uh, session, I guess. Hmm. It's a new live. Uh, connect me, Kiana. No? Okay. 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 One second. Four seventy two people are watching now. I think uh, we can send quickly. Send an e. Uh, you can quickly send a link to all the participants through email. I will also update the link. Yes. On my community channel, so that people can get. Information that you have to learn. Hello, everyone. I hope you guys can hear me. We had a little bit of technical glitch, so we are just fixing it. So sorry for that. Hopefully, very soon all of you can join. Hi, guys. Good evening, everyone. Uh... Yes, after some effort, we are live finally on this yeah. channel. Uh, I hope now it's working perfectly. Yeah, yeah, it is working. So I think we can start the session so that everyone can. So almost six hundred people are online. So I request you to tell your friends so to more for more people to join. Yes, uh, please uh, make sure that the maximum number of students are joining because uh, we are going to come out with something beautiful today. Uh, this okay. is going to be very, very interesting and very informative for all the students out there, all the aspirants out there. So, the uh, more students will be, the better it will be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the things that I want to tell all the students, all the students, that uh, Today we are going to discuss a couple of things. One, we will discuss that your 2024 UPSC roadmap can be kept. You can focus on some preparation. You can improve your time management. You can improve your discipline. You can improve your time waste in UPSC preparation. You can improve your time waste in UPSC preparation. We will discuss the answer writing. Because answer writing is such a thing that जो बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स को बहुत प्रॉब्लम होती है उसको हैंडल करने के लिए क्योंकि नॉर्मली कॉलेजेस में स्कूल्स में या राइटिंग पे फोकस होता ही नहीं है एज साइंस स्टूडेंट्स इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स कॉमर्स स्टूडेंट्स तो आपको बिल्कुल भी एक्सपोजर मिलेगा ही नहीं आप राइटिंग का जब आप बोलते हैं तो प्रीलिम्स तो आप निकाल लेंगे पर उसके बाद आपको अचानक लगेगा ये 3 महीने है 3 महीने में मेंस की प्रिपरेशन हाउ टू डू दैट तो इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि आप आंसर राइटिंग के बारे में अभी से सोचें अगर आप 24 में अटेम्प्ट दे रहे हैं इवन 23 में भी अटेम्प्ट दे रहे हैं 25 में अटेम्प्ट दे रहे हैं 2025 में सो आंसर राइटिंग अभी से प्रैक्टिस करेंगे तो धीरे-धीरे सही होगा तो उसके ऊपर भी फोकस करेंगे और इस चीज में स्पेशली डिसिप्लिन कैसे बनाना है इसमें कैसे टाइम मैनेजमेंट करना है शुरुआत कहां से करनी है वेयर टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एंड हाउ यू कैन घर पे बैठे-बैठे बिकॉज़ इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर एवरीवन टू कम टू दिल्ली फॉर कोचिंग तो घर पे बैठे-बैठे कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट चीजों पे ध्यान लेके कैसे आंसर राइटिंग को आप बहुत ज्यादा इंप्रूव कर सकते हैं उसके बारे में बा, बात करेंगे ओवरऑल अपनी राइटिंग स्किल्स को कैसे इंप्रूव कर सकते हैं ये एसे राइटिंग में भी डायरेक्टली आपको हेल्प करेगा उसके बारे में बात करेंगे उसके लिए ऑलरेडी मैं 100 डेज आंसर राइटिंग चैलेंज कर रहा हूं अपने चैनल पे जिसमें 7 डेज ऑलरेडी हो गए हैं सो लॉट ऑफ यू आर फॉलोइंग दैट थैंक्स फॉर दैट पर उसके साथ-साथ आप एक प्रॉपर्ली एक स्ट्रक्चर्ड मैनर में कैसे आंसर राइटिंग कर सकते हैं जिससे आपको राइटिंग का एक्सपीरियंस मिले लाइव राइटिंग करने का मौका मिले ये सब आज अनुज भी आपको बताएगा एंड हाउ आई विल बी डिलीवरिंग गेस्ट लेक्चर्स ऑन दिस उसके बारे में भी बात करेंगे तो अनुज यू वांट टू टेक ओवर या श्योर सो एक आई वुड वांट टू स्टार्ट विद एन एनालॉजी व्हिच आई हैव यूज्ड इन द कोर्स आल्सो दैट वी आर वी आर वर्किंग ऑन फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है बिकॉज़ दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई केम अक्रॉस वेरी रिसेंटली सो uh, I, I was uh, on a trek uh, recently, somewhere in March or April, and 
मुझे एक छोटी सी इंजुरी हुई आई वेंट टू डॉक्टर का मैराथन रनर आई डि नॉट गो टू अन्वेंशनल डॉक्टर फॉर इट एंड ही मेड मी रन ही मेड मी डू सम एक्सरसाइज एंड ई टोल्ड मी दैट देर इज समथिंग रॉन्ग विद योर पोस्टर Uh, and then he asked me asked me about my background and everything so after listening to me he said that your posture should not be wrong because you've been running all your life that's what you have done for for quite a long time but it's not surprising because uh let's say tomorrow a new person decides that he wants to start running he will just grab some shoes and he start running a uh, majority of his focus in fact is going to be on the shoes because ऐसा सोचा जाता है कि शूज अच्छे होंगे तो इंजरी कम होगी बट इन दैट थॉट प्रोसेस ही डज नॉट ही और शी डज नॉट थिंक अबाउट द पोस्टर ऑफ द राइट और द रॉन्ग पोस्टर ऑफ रनिंग एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट इवन इन एलिट इंस्टीट्यूशन इवन इन एथलेटिक्स इवन एट नेशनल लेवल नो बडी टीच इज यू हाउ टू रन ये एज्यूम कर लिया जाता है कि बस अब इफ यू स्टार्ट रनिंग यू नो हाउ टू रन एंड दैट्स वट ही टोल्ड मी ही सेट Uh, this assumption that uh, once you start running you know how to run and you can run successfully is wrong there is a certain technique to running that you need to adapt and adopt if you are not following that technique then you might end up injuring yourself the same thing happens to if not 100% then 95% of the students in upsc as well we all assume that uh, writing comes when you start writing yes it does but there are certain basics that are still make, missing for a lot of our uh, you know students why are they missing because we are never taught how to write we are never this is never discussed in schools or colleges you are never uh, you know there is no class for this there is no discussion for this there is no specific time frame to teach you something like this aisa assume kiya jata hai that if you have the content you can very well write if you don't have the content you cannot write and probably a 5 minute class telling you you have the intro you have the body you have the conclusion that's it now go ahead start writing but that is just a very brief introduction of writing there are a lot of techniques a lot of do's and don'ts which you need to understand if you want to make your writing effort successful if you want to transform your writing effort into uh, you know a result for yourself and in upsc prep you are always running against time so ये एक बहुत बड़े मिसकेंसेप्शन के साथ जब आप तैयारी शुरू करते हो वेन यू थिंक एन एज्यूम एंड हैव दिस प्रिजम्पन दैट लेट मी फर्स्ट कंप्लीट द सिलेबस देन आई विल गेट टू राइटिंग वेन यू स्टार्ट राइटिंग यू डोंट नो हाउ टू डू इट सो यू जस्ट थिंक एन एज्यूम बिकॉज एवरीबडी टेल्स यू द सेम थिंग लेट मी स्टार्ट राइटिंग आई विल लर्न हाउ टू राइट लेट मी राइट वन आंसर एवरी डे दैट वेज आई विल बी एबल टू राइट वेल इन द एग्जामिनेशन and those are all wrong steps that you have taken which are going to affect your final result either you won't get through to be very honest or even if you get through you might not get a good rank because humne wo cheeze ki hi nahi jo humne hame karni chahiye thi so the question then arises is ki wo 5% students ka selection kyun hota hai those 5% students why are they able to get selected it's because over a period of time subconsciously because of their parents because of probably good teachers because of good company they have uh, grabbed upon the right technique of writing okay for example when you start running let's say you are in a group some people are better than you some people are worse than you you are let's say average now those people who are better than you not all of them have learned this technique of running they're just naturally good right but not all of us are like that it's only a very small minority 4% 5% of the students that's also too large a number now you don't you don't lie in that category let's assume that let's put ourselves as average students who don't lie in that elite category who have already who already have good command over writing therefore the next step is to understand what is this technique of writing and then start writing so that you don't make those mistakes that majority of other students are making ek aur mere dimag mein hamesha ek analogy bol lijiye ya fir ek example aata hai the technique to clearing this examination or any elite examination like upsc or reserve bank of india is to do what 99% of students are doing and also 
to do what 1% of the students are doing. So what happens is 99% of students are not doing that 1% that the 1% of students are doing. And that's why they don't clear. So if you want to clear, you have to understand what is it that 1% of students are doing. Okay. And at the same time, make sure ki jo har ek average student kar raha hai, you're also doing that. Okay. And answer writing is the technique of answer writing is what 1% of the students are subconsciously already doing. And 99% of students are not doing that, uh, do not have any idea about that technique. So if you want to be in that elite category, then you have to do what the elite category is doing, which is understanding the basics of answer writing. And that is what, uh, you know, this course and 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 this course Some of these sessions are going to be recorded. A lot of these sessions towards the end of the course are going to be live, where uh, we will be teaching you uh, answer writing through some uh, uh, tests. Three hours of long tests will be. You will write tests. You will be writing those tests, and then I or Manoj will be evaluating those tests for you in real time. Okay. Now, real time evaluation is something new in UPSC because nobody does that. and i have had a wonderful experience with it it transforms your understanding of writing to a different level so wo uh, I, i i want to introduce that as well in the writing uh, field of upsc because it's a very writing oriented examination so that is going to be the holistic approach that we are going to follow in the next 3 uh, months abhi main aapko time table bhi bata dunga i'll be sharing with you the time table as well Uh, and also i'll be sharing with you the book uh, of answer writing or may i i'll explain to you in detail what exactly is going to happen when you join into this course how are we going to take you forward but the gist again is to learn the technique of answer writing if you don't know that technique if you feel that you know it already no need to come forward and join it because it's not going to help you then but if you don't know that technique or if you have an iota of doubt that you might not be aware about that technique then come in because in these 2 3 months you're going to learn the very basics of answer writing which will help you after prelims the 3 months that you are going to have between prelims and mains this is going to be very helpful there anything manoj that you would want to say yeah so i think uh, anuj has kind of given you a very good overall स्टार्टिंग uh, पॉइंट कि हम ये सब इस चीजों पे क्यों फोकस कर रहे हैं आपका यू नो इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ एस्पेरेंट्स टू नो वन और टू थिंग्स नंबर वन इज कि आपको ये पहले अपने दिमाग में डालना होगा यू हैव टू पुट इट इन योर माइंड दैट यूपीएससी इज नॉट लाइक ए कॉलेज एग्जाम वी गिव ए बुक टू यू वी गिव ए कोर्स टू यू यू गो टू ए कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट दे गिव यू मटीरियल टू यू एंड यू विल पास द एग्जाम इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल लाइक दैट the only way to pass upsc exam is number one you have to have discipline you have to have good time management all that is required right but along with that you need to have a proper plan for practicing both for your prelims for prelims questions that are multiple choice questions and you need to have a proper plan for uh, also practicing and doing proper understanding of how you write your writing practice because that is a major component of upsc exam if you look at the mains exam on the mains exam basis only you will get rank and if you look at the exam it's all entirely written based gs1 se 4 your optional and your essay writing everything is written so it is very important for you to develop your writing skills very well in this so lot of us do a lot of hard work i have seen a lot of aspirants doing good hard work they have a lot of knowledge they law have a lot of information but then they don't have the guidance on how to write and because of that they are not able to write properly during the examination they even they have knowledge and information they are not able to manage their time they don't know where to start where to end they just spit out some information wo kuch bhi likh dete hain paper mein and because of that what happens is eventually they are not able to get marks and they stay confused why did i get only 90 marks in gs1 why did i get only 95 marks in gs2 why did i get only 110 marks in sa they always stay confused and they keep focusing on learning new content 
they are not focusing on actual what will matter which is writing because what will matter is aapne writing ka kitna practice kiya i will tell you my own story in my first attempt i went through to, till the interview stage my mains marks were less because of which i did not get selected it they were average marks in my second attempt my essay marks were very less i got into the uh, wait list into the reserve list but my essay marks were very less from both these attempts i learned that it was not my knowledge base that was not helping me it was my knowledge base was okay it was as good as let's say top 10% of the aspirants but if you want to get into the top 100 at rank what will matter is your rank uh, is your writing skills because that is what then i started focus on ki mere marks kyu kam aa rahe hain why am i getting less marks in my writing and so i started focusing and doing a lot of lot, lot of writing practice both for essay and both for answer writing for my answer writing i used to do mock test series i used to write in my own free time i used to do at least 3 4 questions whenever i used to sit down for answer writing i used to do at least 3 4 questions 5 questions minimum answer writing practice at that time there were no there was no guidance for answer writing i had to figure it all out but today what anuj and i have decided to do is and it is mostly work of anuj his uh, you know his experience in the field of education in the last 2 3 years his experience with his experience and with my knowledge what we have decided to do is create something a structural format in which you can learn how to write well not only how to write answer writing but overall to write well this will help you in many many ways to write well and uh, what i have personally i have personally will be giving guest lectures uh, a few lectures i will also be coming live to help students uh, and i will also be correcting their copies online so whoever joins us through zoom will be given an access and they can also uh, do it online uh, in a live mode which is not being done anywhere and which will really help you because live you will get to understand directly from the teacher ki kahan pe aapki problem hai where are you making mistake and you can correct that mistake all right so uh, we will very shortly tell you more about that anush will tell you more about that but what i will tell you is a few things you know first of all what i will tell you is answer writing is not something that you can not learn it is not something that is um uh, that is even if you don't have good english even if you don't have good hindi aapki hindi mein bhi thodi bahut problems hai it is still very much doable and the reason for that is because you don't require very very high fi english you require only basic knowledge of english as long as your grammar is correct as long as aap likh sakte ho as long as your writing is okay you are fine number one wo apne dimag se nikal number two if you are today sitting down to prepare start preparing for upsc new year resolution hai 2023 mein padhna hai 24 mein nikalna hai 25 mein nikalna hai you know let's say this is your goal so you have to today make up the mind ki mujhe aaj hi us end mein jab main 2024 when i'll be appearing for the exam i have to think from that mindset that that day in the exam uh, exam hall i will be writing answers so from today only how can i prepare how can i strategize to prepare for it and i will tell you when A lot of you students who have been studying for the past year will really benefit from this particular initiative because they will get to now practice writing live. So that is the mindset that you have to have. And the third thing I will tell you is that uh, you know this whole structure has been developed, keeping in mind all the basic things: where to start, how to do time management, how to start. what are the various sources that you can refer to for good answer writing what kind of topper copies you should be looking at how you should be analyzing those top top topper copies then how to write introduction how to write conclusion how to write body of the question how to not write introduction and conclusion where it is not required in some questions the questions are so big so i was looking at 2022 mains paper i solved a question day before yesterday also and posted it online If you look at that question, I have told you don't write introduction and conclusion there because it is not possible. Content is so much. These are so, they have asked many questions within the question. So if the content is so much, you don't have to time to write intro. You should be focusing on completely on the body only. I have so that will be discussed. You will be also taught specifically GS one के questions कैसे handle करने हैं. History questions are different from geography questions. International relations questions are different from uh, geography history questions. How are society questions to be handled? For GS two, me polity how to handle it, which is very different from how to handle GS three, in which development questions come, development economics wale questions come. How to handle it? Security questions come. Map where to make it? Diagrams where to make it? 
कहां पे नहीं बनाना है कहां पे कोई जरूरत नहीं है उस इन सब चीजों का फिर एथिक्स जीएस फोर पेपर है उसका एथिक्स को कैसे हैंडल करना है क्योंकि केस स्टडीज एंड थियोरिटिकल पार्ट ऑफ एथिक्स इज वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट एंड फॉर ऑल दिस हाउ टू डू दिस इन ए टाइम लिमिट द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज ऑफ यूपीएससी इज नॉट कि क्वेश्चन क्या आ रहे हैं क्वेश्चन आपको पता होगा पर आप फाइव सिक्स मिनट्स में इफ यू हैव टू राइट एट मिनट्स में यू हैव टू राइट यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू राइट दैट प्रॉब्लम ओके सो वो कैसे लिखना है All all that, all these things are going to be discussed from very very minute details to very very broad things. Properly इसको follow करोगे structured तरीके से follow करोगे जो उसमें बोला गया है वो program follow करोगे तो I am very sure you will get a lot of benefit because that is how you create your skills, you improve your skills. All right. So these are all the things that are required. Now I will tell you another experience I had in answer writing. When I had started answer writing. I I used to I literally went back to my first answer writing paper मेरा जो जी एस का पहला लिखा था विजन का अभी भी मेरे पास है एंड माई लास्ट वेन आई वॉज डूइंग प्रैक्टिस माई मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज का माई फर्स्ट पेपर एंड लास्ट पेपर दे वर टू सिमिलर क्वेश्चन उसमें एक क्वेश्चन था इसमें एक क्वेश्चन था एंड द वे आई रोड दिस क्वेश्चन आई न्यू की येस दिस वॉज नॉट माई राइटिंग स्टाइल वॉज सच की वो तीन चार मार्क्स से ज्यादा नहीं मिलते और जब मैंने ये लिखा तो उसमें द वे आई रोड वॉज that i could get good marks i could get above 5 6 marks and the difference was not largely due to the knowledge base it was due to writing skill practice organize kaise karna hai structure kaise karna hai dekho aap kabhi bhi kisi se baat kar rahe ho aap kuch bhi bologe to us bande ko samajh mein nahi aayega ki bhi kya chal raha hai par aap structure tarike se points mein bataoge jab business meetings hoti hain official meetings hoti hain then they will understand similarly in college i will give you example you have fest aapke bade bade fest hote hain colleges mein In these fest, there is an MC. Stage pe ek MC hota hai, who is going to organize the entire event. वो पूरा बताता है कि क्या क्या next event क्या है, next event में क्या होने वाला है. सूत्रधार बोलते हैं उसको. You know Hindi में. So if there is no MC, मजा आएगा क्या event में? Will you be able to follow the event? कि कब शुरू होगा, कब खत्म होगा? Who are the singers? Who are the musicians? उनका background क्या है? What they will be they will be doing? Without an MC, the entire event is useless. Okay. So similarly. in answer writing without having a proper structure without having a way to provide a structure to your answers the entire answer will not look good and the examiner will give you an average answer average marks even if your answer is uh, okay content wise theek hai to structure create karna properly diagrams to use karna aajkal coaching institutes mein kya trend hai wo pura aapko model answer provide kara denge 200 words ka question hai 150 words mein answer karna hai sorry Uh, and they are providing model answers of 8800 words 1000 words you know they are providing the entire content around that particular question that is useless how is that going to help you or lot of coaching institutes they are just giving you material they are not teaching you how to think they are not teaching you how to think about the questions about how to approach the questions agar usme kuch keywords hain usme there is something specific you need to think about upsc ask you different kind of questions simple questions will be there and some complicated questions will be there how to break it down into smaller parts that is the kind of skill this skill i feel everyone should have in india every student should have whether you are appearing for upsc or not you should have this skill because it will help you to become a smarter person it will help you later also in but whatever you do so this is the goal of this entire uh, initiative and i think anuj will agree with me and you know uh, this is the kind of thought that i came with when i was thinking about i i completely agree with you uh one second yes i completely agree with you and i think uh, uh we 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 are on the same page when it comes to the objective of answer writing because uh maine khud ko i have seen myself suffer uh, and be in that situation where i did not know that my answer writing was the problem content was not the problem uh the way i was representing myself the way i was expressing myself was the problem jiski wajah se wo i was losing an, on those 20 30 marks if i had those 20 30 extra marks extra marks i would have been uh, selected very easily with very good rank to aur wo koi batane wala nahi tha the reason being bahut sare guidance programs hain where the focus is too much on what the student thinks that he needs but कई बार जैसे स्टीव जॉब्स बोलते हैं ना कस्टमर डज नॉट नो व्हाट ही वांट्स यू हैव टू टेल हिम एट टाइम्स सो हियर एट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स वी फेल्ट 
especially I felt after I started teaching that the student does not know what is actually required because he's running around like a headless chicken. He's referring to his seniors who also don't know uh, what is right or what is wrong. Uh, therefore, it's important for us to tell the student that you are doing this wrong, you should do this. Even when uh, it is a little different from others. I have a small disclaimer here that I want all the students to understand. In fact, I was talking about this uh, very recently uh, with an artist and we were talking about simple things and complex things. It was a very interesting conversation where we realized hua, and we agreed on this that we humans have a tendency to make things more and more complex. UPSC exam is not difficult. Bhi nahi hai. Difficult, hum log, we assume or we make it diff difficult just with our habit of making it complex. If you simplify things, then it becomes easier. And there is a method of simplifying it. So the more simple, the more you know, basics you follow, the simpler it gets. And the disclaimer is that you might feel, especially in the starting of the course, uh, jo starting mein sessions hongi, videos hongi, you might feel that this is too simple. I already know about this. Yes, you already probably know about it, but are you following it in your life, in your study schedule or not? For example, in the first session, there are going to be nine steps that you have to start following uh, before actually starting with answer writing. When you go through those nine steps, you might feel that you're already following three, four of, of those steps. But are you following all the nine? If not, make sure that you start following all those nine steps before actually moving to lesson two. So that's very important. That's the disclaimer. So you might feel that, uh, you know, this is going to take a long time following all the nine steps. I will do it over a period of time. Impatience might creep in. You have to push yourself there and tell yourself that this sounds too simple, but probably this is the answer. Uh, and the gap between success and failure. If I follow these simple techniques of answer writing, I will be able to fill this gap. Okay, you have to have that belief. So don't think that what we are going to start with is too simple because what looks like being too simple is actually the answer of selection. So follow that, uh, you know, religiously, follow that thoroughly. Just like I give a very small advice to students, ko, because I know that it's difficult to follow. Active revision. Now, what I tell them is, whatever you read in a day, revise it at night. But if I start a poll right now and ask all these 980 students sitting here, how many of you actually revise every, every night before uh, uh, starting with your studies the next morning? It's going to be less than 4 or 5%. I'm certain about that. Now, we know about it. We know that it works, but even then, we are not able to follow it. Similar things happen in answer writing. Uh, we know that some things work, but we are not able to follow those things. And that is what we are going to do. We are going to remind you, especially in the starting of the program, that this is what you need to do if you actually want to be uh, an achiever and not just an aspirant. If you want to bridge that gap, and be in that elite category of 1%, 2% students who are going to actually clear the examination, then you have to do these things. Okay. Should I uh, explain to them the timetable and everything, or do you want to uh, talk about the program more and share with them what exactly are we going through? Yeah. No, I, I want to answer some of the questions of the students. And I would also like to, you know, uh, kind of give them a little bit of advice about if they're preparing for 2024. So a little bit of advice. And after that, uh, you can go into the uh, whole, uh, you can also share the PDF maybe on the comments and uh, I can, uh, then you can share them uh, with them the timetable. So for the students, so I will answer some of the questions of the students. In next 10 minutes, I can answer the students, uh, whatever questions you have. Okay, so you start to ask questions, so I will answer your questions in 2024. Then in 2024, how you can prepare, I will tell you. Okay, my student is asking why most of the aspirants crack in first, but most of them fail till sixth. This is nothing, there's nothing like that. Some aspirants pass in the first attempt, some second, some third, some fourth. It depends on your practice. 
to be honest it depends upon how you and how well you understand upsc syllabus how you, well you understand the requirements of upsc exam if your understanding of the requirements of upsc exam is good if you do pro proper and uh, proper uh, studying you work hard you do good time management you are disciplined you are consistent aapka ek ded saal jo pad rahe ho aap do saal padhna padta hai pura minimum us do saal mein if you have done good studies and you have uh, been to the point you know when you are studying you are practicing you have done good amount of mock test series then first second attempt also is definitely possible but yes everyone has their luck everyone has their practice everyone has their hard work so some people do in first some will do in third fourth attempts okay time table you will be i think anuj will share that is not with me uh, i will be also continuing my 100 days of right answer writing challenge on my channel which is completely free anyone can uh, just listen to my playlist is there you can listen to that and i will also be doing a lot of uh, classes in that 100 uh, writing uh, days challenge so anyone can use that also to learn answer writing you don't have to go for the uh, you you can try, decide what you want okay well, that depends on you उसके बाद समन इज आस्किंग इज इट ए क्वांड्री इफ समन वर्बलाइज विद अ ब्रिटिश एक्सेंट ड्यूरिंग यूपीएससी इंटरव्यू विद अ पैलेस क्वेश्चन दैट एंड परहैप्स आस्क व्हाई यू प्रिटेंडिंग टू बी ब्रिटिश दैट्स फनी क्वेश्चन सी व्हाटएवर इज योर एक्सेंट इफ योर एक्सेंट इज लाइक अ ब्रिटिश एक्सेंट इट्स फाइन यूज योर नेचुरल एक्सेंट योर नेचुरल एक्सेंट लाइक इवन इन इंडिया पीपल हैव डिफरेंट एक्सेंट समन एज नॉर्थ इंडिया में देयर इज डिफरेंट एक्सेंट साउथ इंडियंस हैव डिफरेंट एक्सेंट नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडियंस हैव डिफरेंट एक्सेंट सो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन व्हाट एक्सेंट यू वांट Uh, to use whatever is your natural accent don't use that don't try to uh, don't try to fake it um if you are age 30 it is fine it doesn't matter if your preparation is good you can qualify even as a 30 year 35 year old i started my preparation very late when i was 27 years old so i don't think you have to uh, worry about that all right uh, someone who has just entered in college if you have just entered in college as a upsc aspirant i don't think uh in the first year itself you should start going for coaching first 3 years first 2 3 years you should use for having building of basics ncrts padho upsc ki books padho start uh, doing newspapers in first 2 years 3 years when you have a good base when you have read, uh, read all these books understood the upsc syllabus focus on writing join journalism club in your college join some kind of a uh, uh, review uh, book review club in your in your college so that you you can learn about writing and reading and after that in your last year you can take coaching last year mein aap coaching koi major coaching laga sakte ho so that will definitely help uh, all right gs2 is mostly 80% current affairs not true uh, sometimes it can be current affairs sometimes it can be uh, static i would say static hamesha matlab you have to do everything static is very important sometimes even if you don't know a current affairs you can answer with your static knowledge that is the beauty of knowing static that is the beauty of knowing concepts so i would request all of you to please uh, don't focus ki current affairs ke piche itne pad gaye ki static chhod diya kyunki wo sabse badi mistake aap karte ho static se zyada paper aata hai current affairs se actually aap manage kar sakte ho easily okay ye baat hamesha dhyan rakho how to make a strong vocabulary base in english this is a good question for a lot of student english is problem so for english i would suggest there are some youtube channels they, they are actually run by some british people you know because that is their original language so you can subscribe to the channels and learn english from a proper you know uh, from a such such a person um, i think anuj knows of that particular channel i am not sure and you can also read reading a lot helps your vocabulary so read a lot of good newspaper indian express or hindu and read some good books there are 10 15 books non upsc books i have recommended that every aspirant should read like the white tiger is a very good book um you know such books you should read because they are entertaining also they are good books also and they will improve your writing and reading skills also which is the best time to start answer writing and uh, my time is going for options so how to ta tackle that so that's a very good question the best time to start answer writing practices once you have at least done some part of the syllabus so let's say you have finished your polity then polity ke do some answer writing on polity if you have finished your history do some answer writing on history If you finish some current affairs, do some answer writing on that current affairs. Without knowing that content, it is impossible. But once you finish the entire syllabus, then you can dedicate two months completely to answer writing. So let's say you are preparing for twenty three, twenty four. This is the best time. Maybe December, May, Jan, May, Feb, May. You can do answer writing. Pura ek dam achhe sa answer writing karo. So us pe two three months mein you can dedicate your entire focus on answer writing so that you learn these skills. And if there is a uh, problem with you know. Uh, this thing 
like answer writing and uh, you know like gs and optional remember gs you should spend 60% of your time in and optional you should spend 30 to maybe 30% of the time sma fir bacha hua 10% because optional initially optional will take a lot of time because bahut vast hota hai sab kuch cover karna hota hai to initially time lagega uske baad revisions mein you can do it quickly revision kare jao kare jao recalling method use karo lot of recalling karo lot of practice karo writing practice karo to mujhe lagta hai ki is tarah se time but ये थोड़ा टाइम मैनेजमेंट आपको सीखना पड़ेगा क्योंकि दैट इज समथिंग दैट इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट उसमें ये नहीं होना चाहिए सेवेंटी परसेंट टाइम ऑप्शन में डाल दिया और थर्टी परसेंट जीएस में डाल रहा ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए ठीक है ट्वेंटी सिक्स इफ यूर अपेयरिंग टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स स्टार्ट बेसिक प्रिपेरेशन टूडे एनसीआर टी कर लो डू ऑल द बेसिक बुक्स एंड इवेंचुअली ट्वेंटी फोर तक आप एक कोचिंग लगा लो एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स में फिर अपेयर हो जाओ सो आई वुड से टिल ट्वेंटी फोर फिनिश ऑल योर बेसिक्स स्टार्ट रीडिंग न्यूज पेपर बिकम ए वेल अवेयर इंडिविजुअल That is what UPSC is looking for. All right. A lot of students are asking history के लिए क्या बताएं? Uh, history के लिए आप normal uh, NCERTs पढ़ो और जो main main books हैं वो पढ़ो उससे अच्छा हो जाएगा आपका. ठीक है? तो overall I think उसके बाद uh, uh, if you are a Hindi medium student, Bengali medium student, Tamil medium student, Marathi medium student, but you are thinking of taking in English. सो आई वुड सजेस्ट दो तीन महीने आप इंग्लिश इंप्रूवमेंट में लगाओ थोड़ा सा कोई यूट्यूब चैनल सब्सक्राइब करो अच्छा ब्रिटिश यूट्यूब चैनल इंडियन यूट्यूब चैनल के आपको इंग्लिश इतना अच्छा नहीं पढ़ा पाएगा क्योंकि ब्रिटिश ओरिजिनली देयर लैंग्वेज इज इंग्लिश सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इम्प्रूव योर इंग्लिश गो फॉर दैट ओरिजिनल यू नो कंट्री वेर दिस वेर दिस लैंग्वेज इज फ्रॉम तो कुछ अच्छे चैनल है उनके वी विल टेल यू मूवी अबाउट अ कपल ऑफ चैनल एंड देन फ्रॉम देयर यू स्टार्ट एंड ऑल्सो यूज डू लॉट ऑफ रीडिंग दस पंद्रह अच्छी सी अच्छी गुड क्वालिटी बुक्स पढ़ो uh do some writing practice uh, try to write down small small portions and that is what answer writing uh, uh this initiative will also help you with because that way you will also learn how to write well and how, how to uh, do a proper uh, this thing, you know uh, organized way of writing time management is a basic there are lot of questions coming here uh, so now i will tell you a little bit if you are preparing for 24 25 what i want you to do is i want you to first uh, you know Have a target कि मेरे को अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी थ्री तक आई टू फिनिश माई एंटायर स्टडीज आई टू फिनिश माई एंड ऑप्शनल एंड माई करंट अफेयर एंड माई जी एस स्टैटिक स्टडीज बिकॉज इफ यू डोंट हैव दैट गोल दैन इट विल बिकम वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू अपियर इन ट्वेंटी सो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम टूडे एंड स्टार्ट विद यू नो हैव ए प्रॉपर प्लान दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आंसर राइटिंग लाइक दिस आई एम गोइंग टू डू प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन फॉर प्रॉब्लम लाइक दिस आई एम गोइंग टू स्टडी जी एस वन का ये पूरा सिलेबस लेके बैठो और उसको अच्छी तरह समझो कि हिस्ट्री में क्या है इकोनॉमिक्स में क्या है और जो क्लासिक बुक्स है एनसीआर और क्लासिक बुक उसकी लिस्ट ऑन माय वेबसाइट ऑन माय यूट्यूब आई गिवन मल्टीपल टाइम्स इट इज अवेलेबल ऑन अनुप जिंदल डॉट इन वेबसाइट आल्सो सो वहां से आप डाउनलोड कर लो और उन बुक्स को फॉलो करो उन बुक्स को जल्दी से जल्दी कंप्लीट करो वंस यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड दो बुक्स अलॉन्ग साइड स्टार्ट और आंसर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस बिकॉज यू विल देन बी एबल टू स्टडी यूल बी एबल टू प्रैक्टिस टिल देन ऑल्सो फॉलो ए कपल ऑफ करंट अफेयर मैगजीन देर आर करंट अफेयर मैगजीन लाइक विजन की आती है इनसाइट की आती है दो आर गुड करंट अफेयर मैगजीन एक करंट अफेयर मैगजीन उठाओ और एक न्यूज पेपर उठाओ और उसको अच्छी तरह कर लो दैट इज सफिशियंट फॉर करंट अफेयर यू डोंट नीड टू लिसन टू एनी यूट्यूब चैनल यू डोंट नीड टू थोड़ा थोड़ा साइड साइड में यूज कर सकते हो जस्ट टू ब्रेक मोनोटनी बट वन करंट अफेयर मैगजीन एंड वन न्यूज पेपर इज मोर देन इनफ फॉर करंट अफेयर फोकस ऑन स्टैटिक और उसका करंट अफेयर से क्या रिलेशन है उसको समझने की कोशिश करो दैट शुड बी योर फोकस ठीक है उसके साथ डिसिप्लिन प्रैक्टिस करो लाइफ में टाइम मैनेजमेंट प्रैक्टिस करो डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम इवन इफ योर वन सेकंड इज गेटिंग वेस्टेड नो गोइंग फॉर अ चाय विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड ऑल दैट टॉकिंग अबाउट योर ओपिनियंस ऑन सम इवेंट दैट इज हैपनिंग इन इंडिया दैट इज वेस्ट योर टाइम डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम गेट आउट ऑफ सोशल मीडिया गेट आउट ऑफ व्हाट्सएप पूरा फोकस आपका पढ़ाई पे होना चाहिए इस टाइम पे पूरा फोकस और अच्छे दो चार जो यूट्यूब चैनल है उनको यूज करो ठीक है इस तरह से आपकी प्रिपरेशन शुरू होनी चाहिए और अक्टूबर तक सारा सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर लो एंड देन आफ्टर दैट स्टार्ट योर आंसर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस इन फुल मोड एंड योर प्रीवियस योर क्वेश्चंस फॉर प्रीलिम्स एंड योर मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज फॉर प्रीलिम्स देन यू विल हैव सफिशिएंट टाइम टू प्रैक्टिस फॉर बोथ प्रीलिम्स एंड फॉर मेंस बिकॉज़ आप एग्जाम फोकस मोड में आ जाते हो उस टाइम पर वो पूरा 6 मंथ्स 7 मंथ्स पूरा पूरा एग्जाम के प्रैक्टिस में लगा देते हो सो दैट इज हाउ आई वुड approach approach for this particular exam and this is the broad strategy you can use this for 2024 also 25 also uh, 26 वगैरह का सोच रहे हो तो then just finish the basic syllabus and all और उसके बाद एक 24 में coaching भी लगा सकते हो okay 
यूपीएससी की क्या एक्सपेक्टेशन होती है यूपीएससी की यही एक्सपेक्टेशन होती है कि इफ दे हैव आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन यू आर गेटिंग आंसरिंग दैट क्वेश्चन उससे ज्यादा कुछ भी यूपीएससी की एक्सपेक्टेशन नहीं है दे आर नॉट रिक्वायरिंग यू टू राइट समथिंग अमेजिंग दे आर रिक्वायरिंग यू टू राइट वॉट हैज बिन आस्क जब उसका आंसर दो तो आपको मार्क्स मिल जाएगा इट्स एज सिंपल एज दैट अनफॉर्चुनेटली स्टूडेंट्स समझते नहीं और कुछ भी जो है ना लगे रहते हैं दे आर जस्ट डूइंग समथिंग और दिया सो दैट इज ओवरऑल माई एडवाइस now i think anuj i would like anuj to share the time table and he can also explain more anuj you are mute you are mute okay so uh, i'm sharing uh, the time table i'm sharing it multiple uh, times the link of the time table because uh, it might get lost so many students are asking their doubts okay uh, that is number 1 i'll be talking about the time table very soon in the next two minutes uh, i will also be sharing the link of the course uh, jahan se aap dekh sakte hain i've shared the link of uh, how to improve your english there is a website which is run by britishers somebody was talking about british uh, english and all that so i found this is the best source for learning english because uh, they don't teach in hindi the, the problem is that majority of us learn english in hindi which i think is not correct if you want to be good at english and understand the basics of english learn it in, in english that's going to be better uh, before Uh, starting with the time table do teen cheeze jo manoj was talking about them number 1 consistency somebody was asking about consistency uh, i was reading this book uh, i think last night again because i often read it again and again i don't know if you can see it or not yes so i was reading it last night again and uh, isme ek line aayi thi beech mein which said uh, do not rely on motivation uh, focus on action i found it very i could relate to it and i found it very inspiring because mujhe aisa laga ki main subconsciously ab aisa karne laga hu i have started doing it rather than focusing on motivation i have moved on and started focusing on action and i read this book some time back by david goggins uh, cannot can't hurt me now he's a very popular seal uh, us seal uh, uh, officer and uh, he focuses a lot on action in all of his videos and everything you would find that he keeps talking about getting rid of motivation and focusing on action and that's what i found in this book also so i loved it uh, so if you're looking for motivation looking for consistency then shift your focus a little bit thoda sa action pe focus karo automatically things will start working out second i think multitasking is a waste if you do it too much स्पेशली इफ यूर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूपीएससी सिंगल टास्किंग करो एक दिन में इफ यूर स्टार्टिंग टू सब्जेक्ट दैट्स मोर देन एनफ यू कैन ऑल्सो टॉक थिंक अबाउट मेडिटेटिंग रेगुलरली एंड राइटिंग अ जर्नल दैट हेल्प्स अ लॉट बिकॉज इल टेल यू वॉट आर यू डूइंग रॉन्ग एंड वॉट आर यू डूइंग राइट सो इट्स काइंड ऑफ अ वे फॉर यू टू एनालाइज योर सेल्फ टू क्रिटिकली अंडरस्टैंड योर सेल्फ find your weaknesses okay now let's move on uh, i'm sharing the time table again here let me just talk about it briefly may explain kar deta hu exactly how are we going to cover it now the course is starting from 11th which is today first three chapters yes. in the next three days you have to cover 11th 12th and 13th these are the first three days uh, these are the first three days where we are going to cover first three sessions first three chapters simultaneously you will be required to read these first three chapters from this book as well if you go for the course aapko ye book bhi milegi and the ebook version of this is also available in the course itself to wahan se pad sakte ho on 18th after these three days you're going to take a break and try and inculcate whatever we talk in these three chapters in your lifestyle in your studies okay so i'm giving you about 4 5 days for that uh third 18th ko 80 from on 18th we are going to have a live session where i'm going to analyze some toppers answer sheets with you guys 
you know the best way and the first way of actually being good at answer writing is to is to analyze what have the toppers done in the past that made it work for them what did they do aisa unhone kya kiya ki unka selection ho gaya aur bahut sare logo ka nahi hua what was different about it so rather than just be confused about it or not find answers to this question let's look for the answers instead that's what the live class is going to be about we will analyze toppers answer sheets we'll try and understand what is it that they are doing or they have been doing over a period of time okay from 19th we are going to start with our chapter 4 19th 20th 21st 22nd 23rd 24th 25th 26th ye 6 7 din hum log bahut intense tarike se chapter 4 to chapter 11 hum log cover karenge and on 28th december we are going to have our live class second where again we are going to analyze toppers answer sheets now why are we repeating the same exercise after 10 days it's very simple because we want to internalize whatever we are learning in these 10 chapters because wo internalize nahi karoge to aage badhne ka koi fayda nahi and the best way of doing that is to analyze toppers answer sheets and look for ourselves ki hum log kya kya pakad pa rahe hain ki inhone aisa kiya oh i read it 3 days back टॉपर्स हमने बोला था कि टॉपर्स फ्लो चार्ट यूज करते हैं एंड एड इन लेट्स चैप्टर सेवन दैट फ्लो फ्लो चार्ट कैन बी यूज सो ओके नाउ प्रूफ ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट हो गया सो दैट वीज वी टू हैव अनदर सेशन ऑन ट्वेंटी एथ वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज टॉपर्स आंसर शीट्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू प्रूव टू ईच अदर कि हमने जो भी इलेवन चैप्टर्स में अभी तक कवर किया है मेजोरिटी ऑफ दीज थिंग्स टॉपर्स आर डूइंग and probably people are not able to clear and not doing okay to ye hame wahan pe proof mil jayega so that will give us that motivation that inspiration that okay jo abhi tak main pad raha hu it is not a waste of time it works and i've seen it in top of answer sheets as well from 29th we are going to continue uh, from uh, chapter 12 chapter 12 and chapter 13 30th december ke baad 31st ke baad hum log thoda sa break lenge because it's new year the uh, the zeal to study thoda sa it dies down a little it slows down and i don't want to push you too much at this point of time year 31st ko bhi aao first ko bhi aao it's a waste of time you will end up e- even if you're following this session if you even if you're coming live for the session you won't get time or you won't be inspired to study at that time so 31st december to 5th january we are going to take a break from 6th january we are going to start with topic wise uh, understanding gs1 gs2 gs3 gs4 we are going to have four sessions which are going to be very intense so aapko ek week mil gaya hai bas us ek week ke baad the next four sessions are very intense because we are going to have have uh, sessions on gs1 2 3 4 okay then uh, uh, chapter 18 hamara ho jayega 10th january tak after that we are going to actually get into answer writing okay तो यहाँ पे हम लोग क्या करेंगे बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग होगा यहाँ पर फ्रॉम फोर्टीन जैन आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू एन एंटायर प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर लेट्स से जीएस वन का मैंने आपको पूरा पेपर दे दिया फोर्टीन जनवरी को फॉर द नेक्स्ट थ्री आवर्स यू गोइंग टू बी राइटिंग आप तीन घंटे में जीएस वन पूरा लिखोगे इट डजेंट मैटर इफ इफ यू नॉट कवर्ड द सिलेबस कम्प्लीटली इट डज नॉट मैटर एट ऑल अपनी कॉमन सेंस यूज करके लिखो जितना आता है नहीं आता है मत लिखो मूव फॉरवर्ड वट यू कैन आंसर ट्राई एंड आंसर दैट उसके बाद आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लुक एट सैंपल आंसर्स व्हिच आर एक्चुअली नॉट लॉन्ग आंसर्स जो मनोज ने बोला था कि थाउजेंड वर्ड का आंसर होता है वो नहीं होगा वी आर गोइंग टू हैव एन लुक एट ए सैंपल आंसर व्हिच इज इन 150 वर्ड्स 200 वर्ड्स एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू कंपेयर योर आंसर विद दैट आंसर एंड समटाइम्स योर आंसर माइट इवन बी बेटर देन दैट आंसर बिकॉज़ 150 वर्ड में सब कुछ तो नहीं डाल सकते ना हम लोग भी वी कैन आल्सो नॉट पुट एवरीथिंग इन 150 वर्ड्स 200 वर्ड्स so we've also missed a lot of points but that's fine you cannot have ev- everything in 150 200 words so we're going to compare that sample answer with your answer how your answer is better than that sample answer how that sample answer is better than your than your answer what's missing what's not missing what's extra that could have been skipped wo sab analysis hum log karenge in one session starting from 14th so 14th 21st 28th and 4th feb ये हमारे चार सेशंस होने वाले हैं देर इज अ ब्रेक सो दैट यू कैन रीड ऑन दीज पेपर्स जीएस वन के लिए आपको तीन दिन मिल रहे हैं 
GS2 के लिए यू गेटिंग सिक्स डेज देन सिक्स डेज फॉर जी एस थ्री सिक्स डेज फॉर जी एस फोर ओके इवन इफ यूर नॉट एबल टू कम्प्लीट दिलेबस इट्स कम्प्लीटली फाइन देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम विद दैट आफ्टर दैट यू आर टू हैव अ लुक एट जी एस पेपर्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन अगेन जी एस पेपर वन टू थ्री फोर हम लोग देखेंगे एंड वील टॉक अबाउट दैम एंड देन वी आर गोट टू हैव सेशन ऑन जी एस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू पहले हम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन उठाएंगे फिर हम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू उठाएंगे ठीक है so 11th 18th 4th march and 11th march we are going to have sessions on gs 1 2 3 4 2022 20, 20, aur sath mein usko hum analyze bhi karenge now you might feel ki yaar bahut late ho gaya hai ye to uh, i have started preparing for i would have started preparing for prelims by now but you don't have to spend a lot of time uh, on preparing for uh, these uh, tests or these live sessions whatever you doing for prelims even that is fine because ये लाइव सेशन जो होंगे आंसर राइटिंग के प्रैक्टिसिंग के दे गुड टू गिव यू अलॉट ऑफ इन साइट दैट शुड बी द फोकस द फोकस शुड नॉट बी ऑन यू नो कम्प्लीटिंग द पेपर एंड देन मेकिंग श्योर कि आपके आंसर टॉप नॉच हैं एंड यूर बेटर देन अदर्स फोकसिंग ऑन मार्क्स ऑल दोज थिंग्स कैन बी स्किप्ड द फोकस हैज टू बी ओनली ऑन मेकिंग श्योर कि आप डेढ़ सौ दो सौ वर्ड में जितना अच्छा हो सकता है उतना अच्छा लिख पा रहे हो ओके so this is what we are going to finish with on 12th march we are going to conclude with our sessions is pure journey mein which is going to start from today 11th december onwards we are going to focus first of all for the first one month one and a half month we are going to focus a lot on the basics of answer writing so please make a notebook separate notebook for answer writing or a separate notebook online or ever note or one note for answer writing and start writing these basics that we are going to discuss in these sessions because again i'm repeating this the simpler things look the more more important they are jitni cheeze simple aapko main batane wala hu manu aapko batane wale hain utni hi wo zyada important hone wali hai okay so make sure that you're focusing on those simple things a lot that you have it written down somewhere and you're following those you're making it a part of your lifestyle you're making it a part of your study routine that's very important okay तो ये पूरा हमारा स्केड्यूल होने वाला है आई एम ऑल्सो शेयरिंग द डिटेल्स ऑफ द पेज जहां पे सारी इंफॉर्मेशन भी अवेलेबल है ओके यू कैन शेयर द मैन इफ यू वांट टू आउट है ओनली एनीथिंग मनोज दैट यू वुड वांट टू ऐड ऑन टू दिस Yeah, I think what I would like to tell all the students, all the aspirants today who are watching right now, that uh, you know, we have talked a lot about all this answer writing and all this. Today we have also given you answer to your questions, many questions. I was also typing, answering your questions, and I was also uh, giving you a overall basic framework that you need to follow for twenty four, twenty five. But at the end of the day, you know, all this. really comes down to how hard you are ready to work how much focus you are ready to give how much discipline you are ready to put yourself into all this comes down to that because regardless of what background you are from i will tell you names of so many ias officers who have come from the most 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 rural areas most most humble backgrounds i talk to them sometimes you know they call me up so i talk to them sometimes and i ask them ki sir Despite the fact that you were in such a humble background, how did you make it? And all of them have a very similar answer that you know it was because of the dedication of my parents, help from help of my parents, and also because of the fact that I was very disciplined, I was very focused. I had no other thought. I didn't have any chance. I had only one attempt because my financial situation was not good. Yesterday, I actually had a talk with Satyam Gandhi. He is one of the toppers, rank ten, I think, of two thousand twenty. um and he is a very young guy he qualified upsc at 21 years of age only right after college so he also comes from a very humble background i'll be posting that session also on my channel so i asked him ha satyam was what what is one thing that you want to tell aspirants and he told me sir time waste bahut karte hain bachche you know they are in rajinder nagar they are at their home they are watching some random stuff online they are wasting their time in all these getting course material le le idhar udhar se faltu ki magazine ko refer kar rahe hain faltu ki books ko refer kar rahe hain there is no need of all that every topper will give you the same book list every topper will give you the same list of current affairs compilations 
but what makes the difference is how you apply that to your own practice and for that only anuj and i have been working for the last one one and a half years not only on the book that i had come out with i'm coming out with a new edition of that book so that uh, it is updated but also how you can use a proper structured way to uh, learn how to write well how to learn well how to think properly when it comes to upsc because the goal is that you should become an ias officer but you have to put the hard work for that you have to put a proper structured work to that that is important all right so that is the only message i want to give you all of you can do it given that you use the online sources in a right manner for yourself you don't waste your time you don't um, you know, uh, misuse your time you have a proper strategy which you develop yourself you learn from others but you develop this yourself because एट द एंड ऑफ द डे सेल्फ स्टडी से ही होगा आप डेली जाके थोड़ा सा मे बी हेल्प ले सकती है बट वो बहुत नेगेटिव भी हो सकता है डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ यू यूज दैट टाइम और राइट सो दिस इज वॉट आई हैव टू टेल यू टूडे एंड आई विश ऑल ऑफ यू वेरी वेरी बेस्ट ऑफ लाक इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन और ऑलवेज फ्री टू रीच आउट टू मी आस मी एनी थिंग आस अनुज एनी थिंग एंड एज फार एज द बुक इज कंसर्न दैट बुक विल बी कमिंग आउट सोन द आंसर राइटिंग बुक विच विल प्रोवाइड लिंक विल बी प्रोवाइडेड सो यू गैस कैन रेफर टू दैट and also uh, time table wagera wo anuj uh, will let you know he will post it for you uh, everyone and um, so that we can get it all right thanks guys uh, if there is anything else anuj and you can post that pdf also time table and link because a lot of students are asking for that the time table link is breaking again and again probably to too many students are uh, uh, you know trying to access it so it's i have to change it again and again so uh, i'm posting it uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, in any case maine page ka link bhi share kar diya hai i'll have the time table put on there as well the pdf of the time table on that page so that all the students can use it directly from there okay so that i'll get done tonight itself and uh, Uh, all the students can access the timetable very easily after that if there are any queries you can uh, feel free to talk to me as well you can reach out to me through the website the number and everything is there uh, if you want any guidance uh, or a better understanding of the course or how to be better at answer writing what not to do what to do you can feel free to reach out to me uh, through the website itself uh, so that was all uh, i think it was a very uh, useful and very productive session uh, as always uh, upc aspirants are always always very focused uh, one thing that manoj said uh, please find the difference between motivation and focus focus on focus on focus don't focus on motivation because motivation doesn't help in the long run wo bahut external hota hai the internal Uh, thing that's going to help you in the end is uh, how focused you are with respect to your objective which is to clear the examination okay that's all everyone have a good day bye bye i'll end the session